Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm gonna take you through like a day in the life of me here at the Contest Prep Center on Friday, my favorite day of the week. It's Pump and Podcast Friday. That means we're shooting the Bikini and the Brain Podcast and I'm gonna get a good glute pump. So let's go ahead and get it started. Morning. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bikini, me and the brain. Clearly, part. Adam. <laughs> Going into the pre-prep would be, one of the things is like systematically bringing your cardio down. So the goal in the off season should be to get your calories up as high as you can and your cardio as low as you can while maintaining body fat or gaining minimal body fat off season. If you set yourself up right, well then, and everything goes smoothly, which, you know, it does sometimes, um, a good amount of times. If you had 12 weeks of prep and you're, you're way ahead, well, then your coach has the tool of saying, hey, let's just have a full week of you just reloading calories. Like, cut your cardio, reload your calories, feel good. And then that next week after that, you just have awesome workouts. You make even more progress. And we don't worry about losing that week. We fully take advantage of it by reloading and having you feel good. So there's, like, so many things that happen within that pre-prep phase. I think another great thing about the pre-prep phase is getting your mindset correct because I don't know about our listeners out there, but when I'm full out prepping and it's kind of like abrupt, it's just like, okay, we're starting to prep now. <laughs> it is kind of hard the first few weeks to even get into the mentality of what you're doing. Once you kind of create a habit and it becomes a schedule and a routine and your mindset is there, like, okay, we're doing this. It is so much easier to get all those things accomplished. Yeah. Being in the zone is the best feeling. You could just kill every workout 100% and you want more. You know, you're just like, yeah, let's do it. I'm so excited. That pre-prep phase is great for just getting your feet wet. Like, let's get into this. Let's get used to it. The first few weeks are going to be a little tricky. But once, the sooner you can get in the zone, the better. Because yeah. then you're just going to, like, sail. Just, like, sail and just, like, it's nothing and you're going to love it. I think it's that routine, like that routine thing you're talking about. It's like mm -hmm. initiates the routine, you know, and it's not as, it's not as critical as when you're in prep to like have a little bit of getting used to a little bit of mess ups here yes. and there. So yeah, I think I love that. I love that. You know, it's funny. I love when you're like, when you're in the zone and you're like, you can see it, you know, you can, you're just like super amped up, ready to go walk into orange theory, like doing your thing. Like yeah. it's, I could just, it's, it's cool to see. Cause you like a, a switch, like just flicks and you're there and it's like, it's, it's exactly. pretty cool. Yeah. And also when I'm so in the zone, I'm not as like hungry or craving. I'm not a person that craves a lot anyway or gets hungry that often. But I find like when I'm really in the zone, sometimes it's almost like hard to eat in a way yeah. sometimes. Cause it's like, oh man, I'm just so motivated. I just want to do cardio right now. Like, uh, I'll just, you know, I don't feel like eating right now. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to work out. Like, I don't know about you, but that's how I feel. Like sometimes this is like, wow, well, I feel like I have, in a way, I feel like I have more food when I'm in the zone, even though it's less food, if that makes yeah. sense. Because I'm more focused on, like, my goals. And I, at that point, I'm kind of using food as, like, fuel. And that's it, you know? Yeah. So it's, like, a good place to be. And usually I get there within, like, the last, like, three weeks or what, like, fully. But the sooner I can get there, the better. Yeah, you know? for sure. So I've really been liking this exercise lately for that upper glute area. It is a donkey kick on the hamstring curl machine. And it's all about that slow and controlled movement. Don't need a lot of weight for this. Just make sure you're pushing through your heels and allow that weight to slowly descend. Then push up and descend. Let's do this. 
I think one of the things that you're seeing today is that it is about, not about the weight, but it's about the control, about the squeeze and the intention of the exercise. A lot of times you'll see people on Instagram really going crazy and lifting, you know, three plates on glute bridges and four plates on glute bridges. But really, if you're trying to develop the glutes, you've got to have the intention, you've got to have the squeeze over. And you'll notice this with Ashley, you'll notice this with a lot of other top pros that have awesome glutes. They're not lifting tons of weight, it's all about that squeeze. And so, I think for your next workout, the best tip we can give you is make sure that you're squeezing and you're lifting with intention. I think that that's going to be the most important thing. What he said. Once in a while, people send us stuff. It's really nice when people send us stuff. We appreciate Aww. it. And this is a skin kit. Oh, it's a little. Uh, is it like a little laser thing? I think we have to put. The, we have to charge it. Cool. Yeah, I think it's. Ooh, it's got a mirror. My hair looks whack. I can see in this mirror. My I think hair it's like a exfoliator or something. Oh, really? It was. We need yeah. to read it. Out. Right. Oh, it's a user manual. Compliments of your skin care. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think it just like uh, it pulse and it and, like gets the proper deep for your skin. Let's see. Oh, you're right. It is deep cleansing, exfoliation, acne treatment and prevention, calming and skin brightening, skin rejuvenation, multi-symptom mode attacks. Heck yeah! Woo! Thank you. Yeah. Yay! So right now, I'm just doing a little photo shoot with a blue line effects. His name's B House, yes, that's his real legal name. Drove all the way from California. We're shooting today and tomorrow. He gets good stuff. I think this is my first photo shoot in this gym, so. Day, very productive long day and now I'm in that sloppy barn my comfy clothes ready to watch some makeup tutorials or some petty drama on YouTube's but yeah I had a great day today and I wanted to show you uh, what I shot in for some of the pics in my photo shoot my new buff bunny shipment yeah, don't mind that mess there. It's all my photo shoot clothes on the floor. But my shipment from Buff Bunny, they are launching a new swim collection on March 13th. So keep an eye out for that. A lot of cute swimsuits. If you're interested in purchasing any of those items, I will put the link in the description, yeah. Because they make some awesome clothes. Like I said, they make more than just workout clothes. They make swim clothes and cute little outfit so yeah I've been really liking their stuff lately so yep anyway thank you guys all so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and until next time I will see you all later make sure to like and subscribe bye